What do you do when you get stuck on a project? If you're like me, you whine about it a lot. <laughs> and then you talk about it with your friends. And most of my friends that I talk about stitching with are here online. So I was gonna try and work through a project and figured I'd turn on the camera and let you know what my thought process was as I tried to figure out what I was gonna do next. So here's the project I've been working on, and you might have seen a few versions of this uh, in my live stream. And I was just kind of playing around. I had wanted to work on this fabric because I love the fabric. I had dyed this fabric, and I really liked the patterns and the colors and thought I could do something with it. And so I just started playing around with some stitches and some fibers, and I had the yellow on there, and I took that off because it just wasn't working. And that's okay because I rarely get it right the first time. I'm usually going back in there to mess around with it and figure out a plan because I have no plan. Okay, let's be real, I have no plan. I rarely start off heading in one direction and land there. So, you know, there's a lot of left turns, there's a lot of unpicking, and that's okay. But I don't feel like it's okay. I beat myself up about it all the freaking time and I need to stop doing that. So that's why I figured I'd turn on the camera and I'd figure out where I was going to go next. Um, I, I love to do bullion stitch and I love to do feather stitches. Those are probably two of my favorite stitches. Well, three. And I love to do knots. And so I, I started with some, some greens. And well, first I started with knots. And I was thinking I was just going to do more knots, more French knots and colonial knots coming out. And then, of course, I had to do some bullion knots. And I love them, and I love using several different shades of green. I tried doing it with a uh, smaller needle and embroidery floss to get a different size. It wasn't much of a difference, so I'll probably go back to my bullion needles. But now what I'm afraid of is that I've got so much green that if I keep doing this all the way out, I'm going to be overwhelmed with green. That's just all you're going to see is all the green, and I'm going to lose the purple. So last night I had to stop myself because I kept wanting to do more green, and I was thinking, you know... In retrospect, okay, and this is what happens with me with every project. So if I had been planning this project, I might have decided to start with the green bullion knots. And then I might have just gone out and had some tendrils and then come back in with the feather stitch. But I didn't do that because I was having fun doing feather stitch. And I was really loving the way the different variegated threads were showing up here on the fabric. So I did all this feather stitch and then I started trying to squeeze the bullion knots in between here. And then I realized, well, I could just start to overlap it. Well, I could just keep going with the bullion knots and bring it out. And then I'm going to be going over the feather stitch. And I almost talked myself out of continuing to work on this project because it was like, oh, you did all those feather stitches and you're going to cover them up. I don't know. Does that happen to you? Do you ever just like try to talk yourself out of going somewhere even though it's probably what you're supposed to do? You know, when you work with paper collage, you think about layers. When you're working with paint, you start with a background and then you layer it on top of it. Well, stitchery is no different. Whether you're doing it with embroidery, whether you're, you know, doing it with different fabrics, the idea is to layer things on top of each other because that's going to give more depth to your piece. So why am I freaking myself out about layering more bullion knots over everything else? Well, it's because I have these darn voices in my head that never shut up. It's ridiculous. So here's the next conversation I had. Well, it's going to be green. Everything's going to be green. It's not going to be purple anymore if you keep going with this. Well, I can change. I can start doing maybe purple bullion knots. I kind of like this. Uh, well, maybe I'll just start varying and I'll do all the different colors and I'll cover some of the feather stitch. But I have space where I can add more. Or what's the absolute worst thing that could happen is that I cover this entire piece of fabric with bullion knots and French knots and colonial knots and there's only a little bit of feather stitch sticking out and I get it done and I don't like it. Well, so what? The world is not going to end. It's not that big a deal. Why do I make it such a big deal in my head? I do and I need to stop. So I'm just gonna try some stitches. I'm gonna try some colors. I'm gonna keep playing around. I'm gonna try to not listen to the voices in my head. And I hope you don't listen to the voices in your head either. Unless they're telling you you're awesome. Because if I have a voice in my head telling me I'm awesome, I wanna listen to that one all the time. 